Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion Bring you guys another video guys We have some crazy stuff to talk about in today's video If you guys didn't see my video earlier today Scratch what I said about the second upload of the day I'm changing it to this because this is happening today Now today is rumored to be the day that Tilted Towers gets destroyed Now I did make a theory thinking that it was going to be delayed So I still think Tilted Towers is going to be destroyed I just think it's going to be delayed It's going to come later on in the game It's not going to come right now But today was the day that Mark the day Tilted Towers was going to be destroyed and guess what everyone is seeing in the game That's right If you haven't played Tilted or Fortnite Battle Royale yet and you've you've heard about this rumor guys Jump on the game and look up in the sky. It literally comes every 10 seconds. You're gonna see it There is a fat meteor that just flies through the sky It's a shooting star and you see it every I think 10 seconds to 15 seconds guys It's insane. These are definitely signs that Tilted Tower is going to be destroyed you guys There's no doubt about it. I, I mean a hundred percent. They're throwing all these little easter eggs out there showing that the meteor is actually getting bigger each week and now they throw meteor or shooting star signs throughout the game and it's not just one little small shooting star it's a flaming shooting star and then sometimes if you look around you can see little baby ones flying around too but this one is actually big so what i decided to do in memorial of tilted towers because it is going to be destroyed soon recently i've been landing at tilted towers a lot so in the next few days if you guys see gameplays of me landing at tilted towers that is the only reason but besides that there has been meteor sightings on Fortnite. You don't have to be anywhere in the map. You can see it in the daytime, nighttime, but it is better at night. You can see it a lot better at nighttime, but in the daytime, you can still see it just as good. I mean, it's it's not like it's hard to see it in daytime. You can still see it. It's just, it looks better at night just because it's the whole night setting and whatnot. But besides that, man, this is crazy to think that Tilted Towers is literally going to be destroyed coming up. Today was the day that they marked it was going to be destroyed, and now everyone is seeing meteors. If you guys did not even see, Ninja even saw it, and I'm going to play that clip right now. What? I just saw an amazing shooting star. So as you guys saw, Ninja even saw it, and he was like, holy crap, I just saw a big shooting star. Like, guys, this is really happening. I don't know if when it's going to happen. Nobody knows when it's going to happen, but these are little signs, and I wanted to bring you guys a video because, guys, it's just, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe they're doing Easter eggs like this because I definitely think a game when they do Easter eggs like this, when they get the community riled up about something and they do all these little Easter eggs to get the community even more hyped up, I think it's definitely a good thing because it gets the community talking. It gets everyone hyped up to see what's coming next. And if you guys don't know, the season ends in two weeks basically season nine or week nine is coming up on thursday and then after week nine we have one more week in week 10 and then it's over you guys season three is over and I, I rumored the very first time that i heard about this that the meteor was going to strike at the end of the season now we're getting closer and closer to the days and we're starting to see all these little signs and stuff the meteor is actually getting a lot bigger and maybe in the patch notes the reason everyone was thinking today was the day it was going to hit is because they had in the patch notes that there was going to be a shooting star effect added on today's date they don't have the meteor hitting today but i think they have the shooting star added the effect added today's date which means it's coming up they're just teasing it a little bit more and I still think I'm still gonna still gonna stick to my gun saying that it's going to happen at the end of the season I definitely think it if not there's going to be a new game mode coming to the game and it's going to feature a shooting star or some type of meteor that destroys the world and this is just I think this is so crazy to me because I, I was never really a campaign player I always played multiplayer I always liked the competitive side of playing other people not shooting like bots or anything like that I liked actually shooting other people where it was a competition where someone on the other side of the controller was actually trying their hardest or trying to get a kill or whatnot so i definitely never played campaign because it was a lot boring and this is this adds a little story to multiplayer and i just love that like I, I mean i love stories and stuff like that and the fact that they're doing it in multiplayer is definitely a cool thing and i know a lot of people are like you must not have played this because there was always easter eggs in the multiplayer with campaign but i was i was always a call of duty fan and now fortnite just took over my life and i love this game man i definitely don't think i would ever go back to call of duty call of duty was starting to get to a point where i was stressed out playing the game i was literally playing the game just just I don't even know why it was it was not fun I would literally get on just to rage quit and stuff like that I was good at the game and I was trying to become like a GB star and stuff like that and I was actually doing really good on GBs but it hit a point where it was just like it was not fun to play the game and then I, I got introduced to this game and it was literally the most fun I've ever had ever just playing with your friends on this game is just 
it's a lot more fun than playing Call of Duty with your friends. And I mean, this game can get boring if you play solo, so I suggest playing with friends and stuff like that. And honestly, you guys are gonna have a blast if you play with your friends. Because there's all kinds of different things you can do. You can troll people, you can literally troll your teammates, you can go try hard and try and get victory rounds, you guys can camp, do different challenges, and there's just so much things added to the game every week. It just refreshes it, and it honestly makes the game a lot of fun. And I, I, I never expected this game to blow up like this. But now that it has, it's insane. Go play the game. The meteors are striking. Go check it out. I didn't believe it for myself, so you know what I decided to do? I was like, all right, you know what? I don't believe this. I went into my own match, and I looked at it, and I recorded it in the theater mode and everything. I tried zooming in, but there, nothing happens. If you zoom into it in theater mode, it literally shrinks as you zoom in, so that way you can't see any details or anything like that. As you guys saw in the background, it, it looks really cool in theater mode. Again, I said at nighttime, it does look a lot better, but I want to know in the comments below, what is your guys' opinion? What do you think this means? Does this mean that Tilted Tide is just a little Easter egg? Nothing's going to happen. Literally, it's going to remain the same map. I read in my last video, a lot of people did not want Tilted Towers to go. A lot of people were saying, it was actually probably like 60-40. 60% of people were saying they can't wait for Tilted Towers to leave. And then 40% 40 of the people were saying they don't want Tilted Towers to go. They love Tilted Towers. They don't want it to go. So honestly, I'm going to give my opinion. I don't mind if it goes or not. I'm honestly, I don't care. If it leaves, it's fine. If they keep it, it's fine. Again, this game is so fun and they're updating it every freaking week to the point where it's always refreshed and new. So even if they took out Tilted Towers, whatever they put in place there will also be good. And they listen to the community as well. So if a lot of people don't like it, they could bring it back or who knows. Like the rocket launcher that they took out of the game, they literally had it in for what, a week, two weeks? And then they automatically took it out and put it in the vault because they never, people were just complaining about it way too much. So at that point, they were like, you know what? Let's just put it in the vault. Let's not deal with the stress because a lot of people are complaining about it. Let's just focus on other things. And again, that's what they need to be doing because this game is in early access mode or the stages. So basically, if you guys don't know what that means is this game's not even out. This game's not even released yet. This is not the full game. We're just getting like a little beta of it. They're basically giving us early access to it. So that way we can test things out and let them know our opinion on it, which is crazy to think that we're playing a game because I always remember when I was younger, you had to buy the hard disk game. You had to buy the $60 game right when it was brand new in order to play it. Otherwise, there was no like beta or anything like that unless you're a PC or something like that. But on console, there was nothing like that. There was no early access. You literally bought the game when it came out. So now that today's day and age, man, everything is beta. Everything is early access. And then whenever they're ready, that's when they'll go ahead and drop it. But so far, I think like H1Z1 was early access for the longest time. PUBG was early access for a long time. And now this game is early access for an even longer time. So guys, that's insane. I would end the video right here, but I know a lot of you guys get mad when I end the video to find out if I win or lose. So I'm going to stay in this video so you guys can actually finish watching the gameplay and see if I win or lose the game. I don't want to spoil anything, but just keep watching. It comes pretty close. It comes pretty close at the end. I don't want to say if I lost or won because, again, you just got to watch to find out. If they do destroy Tilted Towers, though, what do you guys think they're going to bring? Do you think they're going to put another city here? Do you think it's going to destroy more than just Tilted Towers or do you think it's just going to hit Tilted Towers alone and just wipe out Tilted Towers and leave it all grass like an open land? Or do you think they're going to make a new city at this location? Do you guys think it's going to be aliens coming? There's so many rumors going around about what it could be that a lot of people are actually curious. And guys, actually, I have an audio clip because I was sitting there in theater mode waiting or actually I was waiting for a meteor to strike so that way I can actually see it. I was waiting for one of the little shooting stars to happen and I heard this weird noise in my headset. It, it sounded extremely weird. It was just off. It sounded like a little rumble type noise, but like not the controller vibration sound effect. It was just like a rumbling noise in my headset. And I've never heard this before. Here, I will mute my mic completely so that way you guys can hear exactly what it sounds like. Did you hear that? If you didn't, I'm going to turn up the volume so that way you guys can actually hear what it exactly sounds like. It's, it's really weird to explain. If you don't have headphones in or anything like that, you probably couldn't have heard it, but guys, it sounds insane. I mean, it, it doesn't sound like anything original. It sounds like it could be something alien themed. Like it has has to do with something that's not a meteor. It's not just a meteor, I don't think. It sounds like some type of like alien robot in the sky or something. It's, it's, it's a weird frequency that you end up getting through your headset. I don't know if you guys actually heard this. You guys gotta let me know down in the comments below. Have you ever heard this or is it just me? Am I the only one tripping about this? 
Again, this was my very first time ever hearing it. Uh, I don't know if, if this could be me just freaking out and just overthinking things, but you guys got to help me. Let me know in the comments below. We got to help each other out and try and see what this is. If it's something more than just a meteor coming to Tilted Towers. But that's all I have for you guys in today's video. It is now a 1v1 situation. Do you guys think I'm going to clutch it out? I have high ground advantage. It's looking pretty plausible that I'm going to clutch it out. I usually don't really choke too often at the end of the game, like top five situations unless I get rushed by like two or three people again that's just because I, I'm so weak after a certain fight that more people rush me and it gets hard but guys thank you for all the love and support if you guys please can give this video a thumbs up I appreciate that more than anything let me know down in the comments below what you think is going to happen and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video peace